G'day everyone, Adam here going overland. We've got Joe, Haley, Larissa. Yeah, and together we're going overland around Australia in an old camper. No, our old patrolling camper. <laughs> yeah. I'll never get this intro right, do I? <laughs> <laughs> right. This week we're headed from Nigaloo up to Exmouth to get supplies. Then we are headed west towards Tom Price. We're going to mm -hmm. do a few things there before heading on to Karajini National Park. Yep. So follow us along, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I've been loving the comments, guys. Sorry I can't get back to you. We have got very limited uh, phone reception, and when we do have it, we are super busy. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, definitely hit us up. Anything you want to know, let us know. Yeah, we will get back to you eventually. Just, yeah, be patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to get some proper phone service, especially at night when we're camping and quiet time. Then I can get onto it. Uh, so right now we're at the Jurabi Turtle Centre, which is incredible. There's so much information to read about. The turtles here. Yep. The kids are loving it. We'll go check it out and then we'll, um, we'll hit the road. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Right. Woo! So today we're a bit disoriented, just, I don't know, we're not connected today, we're all sort of a bit adrift. Um, I'm going to try and glue us all back together. But Morning everyone. Morning, Yardy Creek done again with the trailer. Yeah, so we got up <laughs> super early again. Well, not too early, six o'clock. Super yeah. early for us. Uh, cross on dead low tide. Yardy Creek is salty. It's full of salt water from the ocean. So uh, I've been seeing people splashing through there, bonnet deep and you know, yeah, you can do it, but it's salt water. So we just crawl through it, limit the amount of salt getting on the car. And um, we got all day now to um, get to our next camp. Yeah. So hopefully we can uh, do some snorkeling this morning, but it might be a bit chilly with that cold wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll head up to Exmouth, get some supplies, and yeah. But yeah, 7:37 was low tide, and we crossed it dead on 7:37. So yeah, all good. <laughs> Beautiful spot, isn't it? Yeah, Sandy Bay, lovely. Sandy Bay. Just but north of Osprey Bay. Yeah. It is super windy. I was going to hopefully get the drone up, but no way. It is probably 40 to 50 km an hour winds right now. Um, yeah, we were going to have one last snorkel today, but that's not going to happen. Not with this wind. No, no so way. we'll just take our time heading up the coast, see a few things along the way perhaps, and get an Exmouth stock up at Exmouth before we start heading west. But even uh, with the wind, it's, you can see the beautiful colours. Wow, this is pretty impressive, isn't it, Joe? Yep. I'm not that far from you. I'm not that far behind you. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Yeah. So this is Charles North Lookout. Well, the road's closed for um, from the big storms they've had. Um, so we've walked in a fair way. Exmouth's just up there. And um, yeah, stunning. Hayley's been fighting with mum. Hayley and Hayley's been arguing. She's tired. She's just, I don't know, kids. Yeah, she had a rest yesterday. I'm surprised I'm not angry because yeah. I didn't rest. I was in the kayak fishing. Yeah, so, yeah, you can't tell her anything today. Earrings, no, no, no. So, yeah, beautiful colours. Well, if especially, you ask for broccoli, that's the water probably a yes. 
You right, babe? Hmm. So as any parent can understand, some days are, some days can just be horrible. Kids just, they say things that they don't mean, but that cuts quite deep. Today is one of those days. And they get punished for it. They lose, they lose dessert, tablets, TV, all the fun stuff. And they get cranky mum and dad. So these two have got a lot to learn about respect for their parents who have been working very hard. So we are very tired today, aren't we? It's been a big day. I'm just getting showered up and dinner. And uh, yeah, it was a huge day. We got up five o'clock, but Joe woke me up super early, three o'clock in the morning. And then um, we're all a bit tired and cranky. Just part of the part of life with kids, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, we just got a free camp here on the side of the highway. Uh, old mate in the truck uh, catching the uh, camper trailers. They're going overland stick running. You got a copy? Yeah, yeah, mate, I'll slow down for you if you want to go around. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for that, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Slow down. Afternoon. How are you feeling today? Uh, okay. Okay, you were a bit cranky yesterday, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm. What do we say about that? Uh, I lost my iPad and um, movie and stuff. Yep. And dessert. And dessert for a week. Yeah, it's okay to be tired, isn't it? Yep. But you can't I'm take tired. it That's out. You can't take it out on mum. So today we're a bit disoriented, just. I don't know, we're not connected today. We're all sort of a bit adrift. Um, I'm gonna try and glue us all back together, but it's a bit hard. Everyone's sort of a bit tired, which is strange because you think being on holidays and not working, you'd be full of energy. But you have these days where you're just tired, maybe even weeks, where you just feel tired and, and worn out, but at the same time, you don't wanna stop. There is so much to see. Um, it's just going to be a part of, part of your life when you're on the road, but, um, yeah, not much to say. We just push through it and you get over it and, um, all of a sudden you all snap back together and you have a great time. We are at, um, a free spot we found. We'll call it the Going Overland Pit Stop. <laughs> um, today we've driven from the bush. North South Coast Highway, I think it's called. Uh, and we're headed towards Karajini and Tom Price mainly. Um, long drive, maybe 350 k's today. Beautiful drive. But it was incredible drive. It was, it was absolutely stunning. It kept you looking around every corner. There's these rugged mountain ranges. There's these valleys. It, it was incredible. I'll, um, I'll cue the music and the time lapse now. Better mood this afternoon. We're all we're all still very tired, as you can see. Look at Haley; she just looks tired, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Tomorrow we're going to have some fun at Tom Price. Um, you get water there and uh, there's a nice four drive track up to Mount Nameless, I think it's called. We're going to go check that out. Check out a few other things in town and um, get some supplies. We don't need too much, but we'll get a few there. <laughs> so right now the battery in the camper is 100% so I am charging all our camera batteries, all our drone batteries, uh, doing our, a data transfer. All our battery batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have pizza tonight on the fire. Uh, good morning everyone. That was a nice camp wasn't it guys? Yeah. So first thing we do in the morning, breakfast, pack up and all that stuff. But then we also got to work out where we're going to go and how we're going to go there. So. Today we're heading towards Tom Price, there's two different ways, so we're just checking out the map book. We can either go the Bitumen Road, which is longer, Beach. or straight up the Dirt Road, and then right. the Tom Price here. So, my thinking is the shortcut, yeah. um, we'll just go see how rough that road is first. So we just hit the uh, start of the four drive track up to Mount Nameless. We'll um, we'll head up a little bit and dump the trailer shortly. to Tom Price you have to take your trailer take your caravan off you have to do this little four-wheel drive track it's only taken us about I don't know 20 minutes yeah 15, about 15 20 minutes up there but the view Even you can see the mines down the bottom you can see the hills all around us I just can't wait to go exploring Karajini and all this area it is it's incredible
<laughs> so a day to day thing, or week to week thing we have to do is shopping and water and sometimes when you come to town it's hard to get a car park so um, yeah you just gotta squeeze in when you can. Larissa's doing the shopping, we load it all up, we've got water and fuel already, last thing we've got to do after that is dump the toilet and then we're heading off bush again for another five days, six days maybe. A service now we're going to do a wheel rotation it's been over 15,000 kilometers mm, we already had a tire exploded so. yeah so we're at Karajini yeah. Karajini National Park is just down the road it is fully booked but we're camped here with some friends we've met on the road and mm -hmm. uh, yeah to gonna have a um, good night here with them mm. yeah. all right we're gonna roll it off don't lift it roll it off I don't know roll it off roll it around to the this tire it's probably not in a good spot clean up. That's high. Yeah. Leave the cut tire on there. Okay, get your hat on please. Tell me, is that wheel off the ground? No, no not yet. What's Dad doing? How's that back going, Dad? Okay. Just doing the wheel rotation. We've done a bit over 15,000 kilometers, so a little bit overdue. Probably should do them every 10,000. But um, now's a good a place as any to swap all these wheels around. Well, I guess technically we did rotate them after that blowout, no. in one sense. We took <laughs> one off one and off. put yeah. another one on. So, just gotta yeah. be a bit careful with my back, but it's going quite well. Mm. Yeah, I find the best way to help your husband recover from a, a, a sore back is say, say to him that you've got three days to get it better. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, he has been resting as much as we can. And it did change our trip a little bit. We did miss stuff. But that's okay. We're okay. Um, the trip has not ended. So, <laughs> Which was a real genuine concern it at was. one stage. Yeah, especially for my back injury last year. So we've done the trailer. And now it's time to rotate the wheels on the car. Yeah. I'm kind of really excited because I haven't helped with this before but oh, it's a pretty simple job but it's something that needs doing otherwise yep. they'll wear out in a particular part of the tire before the tires sort of you know worn out yep um, especially the front end yep um, yeah and why um, they're off we'll just check a few other things while we can see behind there I'm just impressed with the color of Adam's chrome uh, rims at the moment <laughs> anyone that has followed us for a while knows that this car is normally in schmicko um, standard yeah <laughs> like they're normally shiny chrome Polished. Um, we tried to get a car wash in x mouth but unfortunately their pump was actually broken so unlucky for us we well, kept rolling through town luckily we didn't drive through that salt water at yeah Yardy creek like a lot of people did because yeah. yeah there's no car wash right now yeah. Yeah. Alright everyone, that's the end of another week. Thanks for watching this week. Um, next week we're at Karajini National Park. So we found this awesome free camp. We're going to be here for a few nights going in and out of the park because it's fully booked. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up guys. Really helps us out, it does. Um, yeah, love in the comments guys. Keep them coming and um, we'll see you next week. Alright, bye guys. Woo! Hey Joe. Yeah? Do you know what day it is? Uh, Friday. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, it's Sunday. What? It's Friday then. And I guess he's gone nuts. Like and subscribe down below. Bye.